Hey guys, welcome back to Isaac's Hobbies. Today I have a unboxing video for you all. You guys could already see what it is. It's saltwaterfish.com. I ordered this a few months ago and I kept pushing it off because of bad weather. It was snowing nearly every day and I didn't want them to arrive dead or arrive with two day shipping. So I pushed it off every day. Um, I finally gave them the green light to ship it at this date. And yeah, let's see how everything did. Here is an acclimation guide. If you guys want to pause the video, you guys could see. That's that. Okay. We do have a tape top, so let's try to get this off first. Okay, so here we go. This is how it comes. Okay, we're a little bit wet. Sorry, um, I had to uh, check the door for a second. But you, as you can see, it's a little bit wet. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we have a cleaner shrimp. This is not going to go into this tank as he will be lunch for the stingrays. So let's put them there. And as you can see, we have a stingray. If you guys want to know what kind it is, it's a California stingray. This is my second one. Okay, let's move this box over here and let's open this one. Um, and I have a feeling that we're going to be taped over here as well, so I'm going to have to restart the video in a few seconds. Okay, so I just got this open, and let's see what we have in here. We have a little Coral Beauty Angelfish. This is not going to go into this tank either. Um, so here we go, another two Stingrays. Um, they're all alive. I think this guy's the biggest one, and these are the smaller ones. I mean, yeah, so let's start the acclimation process. Let's see how we could do this. Okay. So. I'm gonna do this. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but we shall try. I'm gonna poke a hole. Yeah, it's kind of impossible to do this with one hand. Let's see if I can find you guys, huh? There we go. And if you guys ever ordered stingrays online, I'm just letting you know, the water smells very bad. Um, I assume it's because they're big animals and, well, yeah. So, there's one. You guys want to get a look at him? There he is. He has black dots on him. I'm not sure what the what it is, but yeah. The way I'm I'm gonna acclimate them is taking a cup of water, putting it in every few minutes. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, and yeah, let's continue the process. Okay, so it has been 10 minutes, so... Um, okay, so it has been f like 40 minutes of acclimation, maybe 30, somewhere there, 35, somewhere there. So we're gonna just put him in. Um, I have a net over here. I don't, I don't want to get any other water from the stingray into the tank. 
because who knows where this water comes from because it kind of smells bad. So, yeah, let's see what I can do here. Okay. Poor guy. Um, come on. Now, you have to be careful with stingrays because they're very delicate. Very delicate animals indeed. So. And you don't want to touch them for obvious reasons. Um, and if you don't know why you don't want to touch them, it's because they're stingrays and they have a stinger. So, here we go. And there he goes. Uh, I really don't know what those black dots are on him. We'll have to see what it is, but... That's him. Here's my original Stingray. He's much darker. I mean, I assume he's scared, that's why he's so white, but he's like much bigger too. So yeah, there's one and we got two more to go. Okay, so here is number two. He's ready to go in as well. We're gonna be I know, I know, I know. Okay, there we go. There he goes. They're very big compared to my first one. Um they're quite a lot bigger, in fact. So there he is. I really don't know what those black dots are. I hope they're not parasites, because they are. If they are, I'm gonna kill them. But yeah, there we go. So he's buried. They do that little fruffle thing. This is very cute. The way it does, like a bunch of sand goes through over there. And there's okay, and here's the third guy. I think he's the smallest out of the bunch, but we'll see. I'll be back in around 25 minutes while I put him into the tank. Okay, so here's the final guy over here. Um, we're gonna scoop him up. He's the smallest of the bunch that came in, and he seems to be the healthiest too. If I may say so. Ow, judge, 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 judge. Come on. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sometimes I can feel an animal's pain. Like when they go like that, especially fish. Okay. Beautiful. There he goes. He's been, he swam around a few times. He settled over there. He didn't settle yet, and this is the one that just came in. Who, he's just lazy, and the eel is just sticking his head out over there. Looking all depressed. I hope they get along. If they don't, we'll have to get rid of one. Maybe two. So that's pretty awesome. So here's number one, number two, and number three, who is the smallest. Pretty cool. Now, we don't know if they're gonna stay in here forever. I do have to clear this rock. This rock fell from there. I'm supposed to put it back up. But we'll see how long they could last in this tank before they have to go to a bigger tank but before I do that I'll probably take out some rocks to make them more space to swim around but 
what I've learned about my original Stingray, who was the darkest one, they don't really need that much space. I mean, they climb the walls like that. And that's like how he keeps himself active. He just swims around, around the tank, just like this. Like as if you go to the aquarium and you could kind of like touch him and stuff. And that's how they swim around from my experience. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see something else. Um, with these guys, I'm going to put them in my tank at my other house. This is my mom's tank. If you're wondering why so many stuff are missing, is because I did take some of those things. And also, there was a very big outbreak of some kind of disease over here. Um, I had fish for a few years already. And some kind of disease came along. And I had to take the rest of my fish home. Not the rest, there are some fish still here, the ones that I couldn't catch, who survived. But a lot of fish like died. Um, it was a weird disease. It was not ick, it was not velvet. It was uh, a bacterial disease and it was so weird. It was like their mouth would become infected and big. And I don't know, I, I searched all over the internet to find out what it is. The stingray was never affected. Um, it was only a targeting fish. It was the weirdest thing I ever saw. I thought for a second that the stingray was stinging them and that's why their face was blown up, but it was very weird. It was very weird and I didn't know what to do and I used every type of medicine. I know this, I used this. Um, I used from a different company, but a lot of, uh, quite a few fish died, like four or five, somewhere there. So uh, I decided to stick to stingrays since they're the most interesting and my mom likes them because they're, they come to her when you feed them. Here you would come right over here and you'd be able to feed them and my mom loves that. So yeah, to keep her happy, um, she likes it. His name is X-Ray, that's what his name is, so she'll have to name a few more. But yeah, X-ray. She she really looks forward to feeding him and taking care of him. It's like instead of a dog, we can have these. Um, so yeah, you can't walk them, but they do have personality. They're awesome pets. So let's see how long these guys make it, and we'll see. We'll keep you guys posted. If you guys want to see more about saltwater fish on this channel, let me know. I do, I know I got into baseball cards recently. Um, because I, 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 I got very into it, um, but I'm also into fish tanks, but my fish tank videos weren't getting too many views or whatever, um, so I decided to transition to baseball since I know quite a lot about baseball. When it comes to fish, I don't know that much, I just have like quite a few years experience, but I don't have the best, most expensive systems, I don't have crazy lights, I just have simple stuff. Everything I do is very simple, so yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know if you want to see more of these videos. He's chilling, he's still making those bubbles over there. They do that to make like a airway, I'm not sure exactly why, but yeah. There's that guy, that guy I've had for years, I got him at Petco, awesome fish. It's the cheap fish, the aggressive fish, they never die. They never die. So if you guys want a, a cheap fish that would never die on you, damsels, these guys, there's a dotty back somewhere in here who, eels never die. There's certain fish, but the tangs, um, grandfather clock going. But those type of stuff never die, the cheap stuff, so. The more expensive the fish, usually, the less hardy it is. Except if it's a grouper. Groupers are very, very tardy. Hardy, sorry. Look at him, he's trying to figure out his surroundings. He's so big. So I might have to get rid of one. I wasn't expecting them to be so big right away. Mine is like much smaller. And look, they're making a mess. Uh, it's actually not the first one. The first one is right there. Just buried himself. And it's so cute, look, they make like a hole and then look he's gonna stick his eyes out 
Like, it comes up slowly. It's the cutest thing. Come on. Don't embarrass me. Stick it out. Ah, there he goes. Come on. I don't know. He doesn't want to stick his eyes out. Oh, there they come. Slowly but surely. They usually come the eyes out like this guy. You see the eyes are sticking out. But yeah, well he did it halfway. So that's fine. And the other guy disappeared. In there. And this guy is still looking for a home. I'll move this rocks on top of those to make more room over here. And this rock's got to go up there. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.